So you want the Moto X, but you want it in one of those cool colors and not just plain boring black, right? Cool, here's how you're gonna do it. Okay, so here we are at Moto's little design website. Uh, when it's open to the public, it's going to be motomaker.com. So write that down. We'll obviously have 5 million links to it when that uh, happens. And so the way it works is you're going to buy the, the phone actually in the store, and they're going to send you home with a little scratch-off card, and that card will have a code. You will enter the code on the website thusly. I've already typed it in, and we've got a little captcha to deal with, J-N-A-L-T-O-M-E-M-O-I-R-S, and continue, and boom. All right, so this is all really self-explanatory, but I'm going to walk you through it anyway. Just There are a couple fun things. So uh, you see over here on the left, again, you've already paid for the phone once. They're not going to make you pay for it again. That makes sense. You can choose back, front, and accent colors. You can select storage size and features if you haven't already bought the phone in the store and customize matching accessories and link your account. So get started. Oh, by the way, they have a bunch of recommendations, which is really cool. Uh, flip through those real quick just so you can see them. So if you're having a hard time figuring out what you want to make the phone like, you could just use one of these, right? And uh, the way this works is you've got the front of the phone, the accent color is in the middle, and then uh, the back of the phone. So, you know, black, silver, black, or blackout, dark night is black, yellow, and then the woven black. We'll show you that in a second. And then you can actually click it, and it should take you to it. So, we want to make our own. Let's do that. Design yours. This is just going to take us back to that main screen. And here we go. So, let's start with the back color. And we have 18 options. This is kind of one of the bigger choices you have to make. Navy, turquoise, olive, mint, royal blue, and spearmint. Neutral, you have woven black, and this is what I've been using. It's a soft touch, woven black. It's nice, it's fine. Uh, woven white, we've also seen at the, uh, the demo we were at. Cement, it's kind of silvery, black, and then chalk, which is white. Uh, warm colors, you have cherry, lemon lime, violet, crimson, blush. Crimson's nice, I like that. Raspberry and cabernet but I think I'm leaning towards royal blue right now, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Now we have to choose the front, and you see the phone's gonna spin around here, so we can see the front color. Black, and you can see how uh, the side, the back bleeds through a little bit, that's cool. Or you can do white. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not sold on white. I'm gonna leave it black for now. I know I'm normal, I'm boring. Accent colors, this is cool. You have seven options, and it's gonna flip around to the back. So it will do the uh, volume rocker, and the power button, and then the ring around the camera. So it suggested metallic yellow, but you can do metallic blue, or silver, or red, or purple, black, or orange. Black's kind of boring. Orange is very gator colors. Mm. I like silver though. Silver's kind of cool. I'm gonna leave it that for now. Signature. So you can sign your design. You can put your name or whatever you want on the back of the phone, right? So if I do Phil Nickinson, note here it says, just be aware that adding a signature may delay your estimated delivery date. Right now ours still says four days, but if that's going to be an issue for you and we'll have to see what happens when this uh, opens up to the public, then uh, keep an eye on that. Apply, and that's where it's going to go down on the bottom. Uh, one smart thing here is if you put a bunch of spaces in, it's smart enough to not bump it over so it's not going to screw up the spacing. Good job. That's something you always check for. Um, what if I wanted to put, I don't know, AndroidCentral.com that fits? And by the way, you have a, a limited amount of uh, space there, right? So only so many characters. AndroidCentral.com. Ooh, we'd rather you not say that. How about another try? All right, maybe it doesn't like websites. Android Central. Uh, we'd still rather you not say that. Um, okay, well, what about crackberry.com? How do you feel about Crackberry, Motorola? No problem with that. Go figure. All right, fine. iMore.com? What about if I just put, I don't know, Android? Nope. What else can't we use? Apple? Of course not. What about Blackberry? Nope. Microsoft? 
Nope. Hmm. How about this is not an iPhone? Well, too many characters. So we'll just do not an iPhone. Oh, I can put that. No problem with that, huh? All right. So just be aware that there are certain things you can't say on the back of your Moto X. And by the way, yes, this includes dirty words. I've tested them. I'm not going to do it here now. So be aware. Um, so let's just go back and, you know, put my name, I guess. Nice and boring. Update. And there it is. And finally, in this section, case. So you can get a snap case from uh, Encase for 30 bucks if you so desire. Looks like that's not quite ready yet. Again, this is in beta, so uh, don't freak out at that yet. Flip over to the features section. So again, our code is for a 16 gigabyte phone. Um, if you buy in the store, you know, you buy a 16 or 32 gigabyte version, and that's what that code is good for. It would be smart if they could let you, oh, look at that, we can uh, update, interesting. So I, I would assume they can upsell you. Oh, look at that, our price just uh, jumped up. Interesting. So uh, power on, you can put your name here, and again, the same rules apply. Wallpaper, you can choose your wallpaper. Cool. And finally, Google Sync. So you can sign in with your account. That's cool. Good to see. And accessories, you get a wall charger with it, of course. And you can get the uh, Soul Republic Jacks headphones if uh, that's how you roll. And what's cool is you click on it and it will automatically suggest that you match them up with the color of your phone. So that's neat. Or you can go something contrasting so that's cool so there you go a quick look at how you will end up customizing your moto x through moto maker it's pretty neat pretty easy and look forward to everybody using it see ya